Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to teach you tightly coupled multiprocessor topic of computer organization and architecture. Multiprocessor are classified by the way their memory is organized. It is classified in two different parts. Multiprocessors, first one is tightly coupled, second one is loosely coupled. Today I am going to teach you tightly coupled multiprocessor. Multiprocessor system with common shared memory, we can say there is one large memory available and more than two processors are available. So we can say it is a multiprocessor system and it can access shared memory. So it is called tightly coupled multiprocessor system. In this system, the processor shares clock generator, bus control logic, entire memory and input output system. So there are four different uh, 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 scenarios are said clock generator bus control logic entire memory and input output systems the system communicate through a memory the disadvantage or we can say limitation of this system is that performance degradation due to memory contention which occur when two or more processor attempt the same memory unit simultaneously so we can say that uh, we can use large number of memory but this limitation will not be solved in this tightly coupled system uh, application of this uh, system we can say high speed of real time processing is desired this system may be used tightly coupled system divided into two different model one is without private case second one is with private case before uh, we see without private case and then we learn with private case tightly coupled without private case the system consists of following things First one is processors because it is multiprocessor. So number of processors are available. So M is equal to memory modules and C is equal to input output channels in which processor connected through channels. So now you can see this. This is the tightly coupled multiprocessor system. So this is M for memory modules, P for processor, different processors. And this is out input output channels. You can see over here different input output channels available here. It indicates C. These units are connected through a set of three interconnected network PMIN processor memory interconnection network IOPIN input output processor interconnection network ISIN interrupt signal interconnection network see in the figure uh, first one is PMIN so memory can be accessed through PMIN network so processor and memory connected through PMIN and input output uh, devices connected through IOPIN so this is connected through uh, IOPIN with processor and ISIN it generates signal for the uh, processors now see uh, uses of all these uh, different networks the PMIN is a switch which is used to connect every processor to every module so in this figure you can say that P0 is connected with M0 or uh, all memory blocks using PMIN also you can say this is PN minus 1 so it is also connected through PMIN to all memory modules IOPIN so input output uh, uh, devices the so IOPIN is used to allow a processor to communicate with the IO channel with is connected to IO devices uh, now in figure we can say uh, if this is keyboard mouse or a printer or any devices it wants to access the processor or processor won't give any task to any output device so it is connected through IOPIN network third one for the interrupt uh, signal ISIN is used for two purposes first one to direct an interrupt to any other interprocessor network if uh, any interrupt generated and it wants to send a PMIN or IOPIN so it can directly send IOPIN or PMIN interrupt or we can say if any processor is failure uh, so it generates hardware alarm to the system so there are no separate ca private case available so we can say this is without private case tightly coupled system now tightly coupled with private case in previous method it means uh, without private case uh, each memory reference goes through the PMIN so it encounters delay in the processor or memory switch and hence this instruction cycle time is increases we know that one limitation is that uh, if uh, any processor wants to access any memory location and second one also want to access and both are comes at PMIN and find same blocks so there is some kind of uh, limitation is there 
now also same limitation over here but we can say the same data is available in his pri uh, private case so they can uh, share same data it, redu uh, it reduces system throughput so we can say that uh, tightly coupled with private cache using this system uh, throughput is uh, high uh, in compared to tightly coupled without private cache this delay can be reduced by associating a cache with each processor so we can say that processor connected through its private cache the another advantage of this case uh, is that the traffic through the crossbar switch can be reduced so it uses crossbar switch for interconnection uh, net, uh, structure more than one consist copy of data may exist in the system as this multiprocessor system encounter cache coherence problem so we can say that it is solved by uh, other uh, methods are available we also uh, 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 videos of this cache coherence problem is available on my youtube channel you can watch so this is the uh, tightly coupled with private case uh, difference is that private cases are add uh, with the processors so this is p0 up to pn minus 1 we can say that uh, any kind of data or processor wants it directly access from private case and remain are remaining uh, portions are same thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag valoria press bell icon to get new video notification thank you